Hello, my friends. Happy Tuesday night to all of you. Officials have confirmed that low income households will be receiving about $1,500 in stimulus relief aid this year. Senator Joe Manchin is being urged by President Biden and Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer to reach a deal on the Build Back Better bill. Friends, please make sure that you watch until the end of this video for the latest stimulus news update. I will also be giving away a $75 Walmart gift card four days a week. If you would like to enter the giveaways, all you have to do is click and like several of my videos and then comment below the keyword of each video that you watch. Friends, the more often you comment below a keyword on a video, the greater your chance of winning the giveaway. The next giveaway is scheduled for tomorrow, so please stay tuned for that video. Inflation is something I hear from Iowans at each one of my 99 county meetings. 13 so far this year, and I'll bet I'll hear it at 12 next week. We know now that this inflation is not transitory. They were wrong then. We know that this inflation is very persistent and probably could get worse. Hopefully not, but it could be. Iowa families, you heard Thune, they're being hit by the same $3,500 a year increases in their costs, or you can call it a, a tax. Iowa small businesses can't keep up with the inflation. Uh, nobody listened to Larry Summers when January he said we'd already spent too much money by the bill we passed before Christmas 2020, and he's pleading with the Democrats not to spend the two tr trillion that they did in March, but they didn't listen. He repeated that in uh, April. He repeated that speech again in August. He repeated it again in October, and it was finally they listened to Manchin. Here is an update on the latest stimulus bills. New Mexico governor has announced that $200 million in household relief aid is on its way to over 550,000 New Mexico taxpayers. Taxpayers who receive funds through direct deposits are scheduled to receive at least $250 in relief in the next day. Paper checks for another 200,000 taxpayers will begin going out in the next following days and will continue to be sent out over the next few weeks. The New Mexico governor told reporters this week, starting this summer, we are putting nearly half a billion dollars back into the pockets of New Mexico residents. Across the country, Americans are grappling with the high cost of essentials. We are doing all we can to provide relief to New Mexico's families. The rebates being issued this week were approved by the governor and legislature in a special legislative session it is to help New Mexico households cope with the nationally rising prices of groceries, gasoline, and other expenses. Taxpayers who file individual returns will receive another $250 rebate in August, in addition to the funds dispersed this week. So for those who file joint returns with a spouse or as heads of household, you will receive $500 rebates beginning this week and another $500 in August of this year. The same legislation that authorized the rebates also set aside $20 million for economic relief payments to New Mexico residents who do not file state income taxes because of their income levels. Only non-filers may apply for the one-time relief payments of either $500 or $1,000, depending on the family size. But friends, New Mexico residents who did not file a 2021 tax return have until May 31st, 2023 to file and receive a rebate unless they receive a non-filer relief payment, another rebate of either $250 or $500, depending on filing status, will be issued to taxpayers in July. Overall, New Mexico families may receive up to $1,500 in relief payments this year. Democrats are now waiting on Senator Joe Manchin as he privately negotiates with Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer in an effort to strike a deal on the Democrats' economic agenda. Many of them are anxious to learn whether Joe Manchin will get on board with an extension of beefed-up federal subsidies 
Under the Affordable Care Act, the financial assistance, which was enacted under President Biden's stimulus law early last year, has cut the cost of Obamacare insurance for many individuals who either purchase coverage in the federal exchange or state marketplace outside of their jobs. The temporary program is set to expire at the end of this year. Senator Manchin is non-committal on renewing it. They must lock down his support to advance a smaller bill in the upper chamber over GOP resistance. If the Democrats fail to revive a smaller plan with a renewal of the enhanced Obamacare subsidies, millions of American voters would learn they're up for a large premium hike only weeks before they cast ballots in the November midterm elections. Many experts say that steep price hikes, often totaling hundreds of dollars a month, will hit 13 million Americans benefiting from the program during a punishing stretch of inflation. Others project that 3 million people would lose health coverage since it would be too expensive to keep. People who live in the state of West Virginia would face some of the largest premium hikes in the United States. Given a population that skews older and more rural compared to the rest of the U.S., a report released last month from an advocacy group found that West Virginians would see an average premium hike of $1,536 per person. Friends, the key word for this video is peach blossom. If you would like to enter tomorrow's Walmart gift card giveaway, please click and like several of my videos and then comment below this keyword, which is peach blossom and additional keywords of any video of mine that you watch. And do make sure that you are subscribed to my channel. Thank you so much, dear friends. House Democrats in swing districts are pleading with their Senate counterparts to avert a premium hike. Last month, 26 House Democrats wrote a letter to Democratic leaders discussing the new possible changes. They wrote, we must make lower out-of-pocket costs and expanded coverage a permanent pillar of our health care system. And reconciliation is our only chance to get this done. Do you think that Senator Joe Manchin should support this bill? Please let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Well, my amazing friends, that is the end of my daily stimulus update video. I greatly appreciate all of you who are watching my videos daily. Please listen for the keywords in any video of mine that you watch and enter that keyword in the comment section below. Friends, the next giveaway is scheduled for tomorrow. Remember to enter the giveaways. All you have to do is listen for the keywords from each video and then enter that keyword in the comment section below. Thank you so much, friends, and have a wonderful and blessed Tuesday night.